Man, this is just the wrong place at the wrong time. Because I used to be a big Assassin's Creed fan, okay? I remember playing the original. Really loved the original, man. Like, a unique take on the stealth genre that actually respected the stealth genre. And then, even with the changes that came with Assassin's Creed 2, that trilogy of games it ended up getting long in the tooth by the this, uh, time... What was it? Brotherhood? Was that the third one? Really didn't need to be a third CO game. Even Assassin's Creed 3, like, it was an interesting premise. I kind of hopped off at Black Flag because it's like I wanted to play an Assassin's game, not a pirate game. But I know a lot of people like it and respect it. It's just not really what I wanted out of Assassin's Creed. And yeah, ended up getting the franchise blow to where you just ended up having yearly iteration after iteration. Then, of course, you had the spin-off games that were there. You know, the Chronicles games, if you recall that. Eventually, it got to a point of diminishing returns. What was it, around Unity? Or it was Unity first and then Syndicate? And then they just had to take a hiatus and then came back with origins i think that's the way that things went but normally when assassin's creed was taking on these different locales you had the crusade era middle east with the original you had renaissance italy with two and its spin-offs a revolutionary war america with three at what the 70 the 1800s caribbean with black flag unity was Revolutionary France, I do believe, and then of course, 1800s England, which is a very interesting, you know, the very first million person city, London, but we could go on for days. Normally they've been relatively accurate and people have kind of appreciated them for that. It's just, you know, the whole Desmond story, which is an, oh, that is a name we haven't heard in a long time, ended up kind of dragging everything down because the plot became an overly convoluted when everybody came in. It's like, I want to go, I want to go back to these historical places. It's like, what was with this modern day story that I don't care about it all like what, 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 are you, what are we trying to force in here i don't know how long that hasn't been the case that just shows how far uh, you know i've been removed from the series at this point in time then all of a sudden here comes a brand new iteration in the franchise assassin's creed shadows trailer confirms that feudal japan set which was as somebody who was following and playing the assassin's creed games whenever there would be a feeler put out there. It's like, what setting do you want to see? Feudal Japan was always at the top because it's like, you have assassins. You could do ninjas. You could do shoguns. It's like, that's the coolest stuff ever, man. And every gamer does have an affinity for Asian culture in some form or fashion. So yeah, that was always something everybody wanted. And the fact that it's coming out now, it's like, okay, better late than never. But as you can see, the uh, and it's supposed to feature a black protagonist. It's like, yeah, that's what I think of. Feudal Japan, black protagonist. Oh, it's Ubisoft. Oh, this is exactly what we're supposed to get. But don't worry, guys, because for a while now, Assassin's Creed has been doing the dual protagonist strategy, and it's always been a woman. So, oh, great. You get a black guy and an Asian woman. I think we've seen this play out before and it doesn't end up well for one of your protagonists. But with the release of Assassin's Creed Shadows first trailer, Yasuke's role as one of the two protagonists has been officially confirmed. However, contrary to original reports, his partner, Naoi, is not black, but Japanese. Yeah, I could kind of tell. Like, I didn't watch the trailer or anything like that. I've seen the screenshots. Mostly because, yeah, okay, I've been duped by Ubisoft trailers before thinking that there would be actually some substance behind what they were peddling far cry 5 but in actuality it was just going to be a bog standard ub slop affair so yeah i've seen people share some screenshot oh that's a cool cg graphic it's like well how's the game going to play probably like origins odyssey whatever the viking one was was that valhalla where already people were pointing out it's like okay cool we understand that you had shield maidens during the time of the vikings but not specifically female vikings like what are you doing there was already bastardization that was creeping in there but this just goes completely and totally against everything and well the backlash has been severe we could just go ahead and say that making a distinctive break from the franchise's usual direction alleged leaks have revealed that uh, rather than any heroes who hail from the nation in which it takes place ubisoft's upcoming feudal uh, japan set assassin's creed shadows will instead of center its narrative on foreign-born black protagonist yes details regarding oh yeah Yes, regarding the next entry in the long-running action-adventure series was first divulged to the public courtesy of a now-deleted due-to-copyright strike from Ubisoft video uploaded and noted Assassin's Creed leaker and video game YouTuber John Othan. Interesting. According to the recap of said video provided by user Singus Lorman, uh, with the help of machine translation to the r slash gaming leaks and rumors, Reddit community Jonathan revealed uh, the identities of Shadows to lead uh, the male 
female samurai Yasuke and the female ninja Naoi. I was like, um, oh, seriously, you're, you're robbing us. One of, theoretically, the coolest games possible, and you're releasing it in 2024. God damn it, man. Based on historical figures of the same name. Oh, see, they want to go ahead and maintain historical accuracy by cherry-picking the one example that they can go ahead and insert their DEI policies in fantastic. Yasuke's story will reportedly see him go from being the only remaining survivor of a slave ship following a pirate raid to eventually be taught the ways of the samurai while serving under warlord Oda o uh, Nobunaga. Well, it's interesting, right? Meanwhile, Naoi, we might as well just close the book on this. Naoi is described as a fledgling operative of the Shinobi, a local and a period name for the assassins, who was brought into their ranks after her, uh, after her family was killed by a group known as the Order, and the local period a name for the enemy Templars. Well, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Like, that's an Assassin's Creed trope, or the bad guys are the Templars. That totally makes sense. Nothing inherently wrong with that, except for the fact that you're going to have Shinobis, and of course you got to have a strong, empowered female it's like, jeez, that would just clearly not be the case. And I'm sure you could go ahead and cherry pick an example where ugh, actually there was a female ninja in this example. When you think feudal era Japan, you think of a white, do you think of a female ninja and do you think of a black guy? No, no, you don't. You made specific with every one of your other protagonists that they were accurate to their setting. Okay. Assassin's Creed, yeah, I, I forgot Assassin's Creed 3 protagonist because he was so damn forgettable, but yeah, he was bastard son of a Templar, which is a cool storyline, and then also, yeah, half native, totally makes sense, really cool idea, decent game if you could get past the paper thin characters. When things were set in Italy, there was Italians, when things were set in America, there were Americans, when things were set in Egypt, there were Egyptians, now when things are set in Japan, there's black guys. What the hell, Ubisoft? Shout out to Grums. Okay, Ubisoft tries to be woke. Picks Yasuke, a black man who is treated like a novelty item in a racist way by Nobunaga and never did anything of note except surrender. Oh, oh. Names the game Assassin's Creed Shadows invoking racist overtones. Yeah, which is another thing, which is hilarious, right? Okay, you got your, I think, first black protagonist. You call the game Shadows? Like, for me personally, like, I had to have that highlighted to me and it's like, oh yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. But to the crowd that you're trying to appeal to by doing these diversity casting like they're they're gonna pick on that stuff up quick because they're hypersensitive to that stuff so oh yeah i guess so who's the racist well that'd be ubisoft of course so to take a look at the story behind this yasuke or yeah yeah yasuke character um here's the thing man nobody did any research behind is there any black samurai oh there is cool we'll just go ahead and make the game about that so Ubisoft apparently changed Assassin's Creed Shadows, throwing away the original story and instead running with Yasuke, an obscure black retainer of Nobunaga, as front and center. A Ubisoft writer who worked on the game says the original story was completely different. Now, this gels with what employees at Ubisoft tells me, that Ubisoft is completely locked down with DEI and the most oppressive studio to work at, as DEI is everywhere. Yasuke itself is a footnote in the, Nobu or the Nobunaga story. Nobunaga was fascinated with the color of his skin, and is, oh, he was kept as a retainer until Nobunaga was betrayed and slain. So yeah, he was the only survivor of a slave ship, and then he was kept as a slave. Cool. Uh, Yasuke fought part, uh, fought part of the battle, but surrendered and was imprisoned. Yeah, because he wasn't taught like the rest of the samurai from a young age, so meaning that he had the opportunity to have an absolutely peak samurai, but nah, man, no, nah, we, we got specific stories that we want to tell. Yasuke fought uh, part in a battle, yeah, but surrendered and was imprisoned, and not much is known about him, but Ubisoft decided to run with it anyways. Well, yeah, of course. Assassin's Creed Shadow key art leaked. Yep, it's confirmed all right. Yeah, I don't really care what that guy has to say. Uh, I worked on some narrative and er, elements for the Sengoku era of Japan for Assassin's Creed back in 2013-2014 when the idea of Assassin's Creed taking place in feudal Japan would have been the coolest thing ever but I digress. I guess they toss it all out for Black Samurai and some cannon destroying Kun uh, Kuniochi boss. Oh, is that girl boss? Is that is that weeb for girl boss? I'm so glad I'm not in the industry anymore. I guess it's only fitting that my contributions to the studio vanish like everything else I worked on. Every MMO shooter I've ever worked on has been shut down. What, The Division? That one immediately comes to mind in regards to Ubisoft. Well, what's the name of some of them other failed projects that they got? Well, we can point to one specifically for an example. Uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows. Uh, Star Wars Outlaws. 
Anyways, here's a brief synopsis of the original story. Let's see if this sounds a little bit better. The plot focused on a young monk, a Yamiuchi Taka. As the playable, er, playable ancestor, Taka means hawk. Hey, to coincide with the then naming convention of every playable hero being named after a bird of prey. Yeah, that's dope. That, that's actually really cool. Never thought about that before, but totally makes sense, right? Uh, the event... All right. No idea if that changed with the uh, these newer disjointed games. Yeah, like I said, I punched out a while back uh, that no longer have Desmond as the core hero that bound everything together. Yeah, because you were accessing the memories of your ancestors. That was the whole through line to piece all the stuff together when in actuality and it's like okay cool if you had just wanted to play those time specific stories you could have just done that as an, an or as an anthology but ubisoft can ubisoft the main conflict was about the sword of eden oh kind of like the apple of eden right honju masamune Okay, yeah, a.k.a. Excalibur, Honje Masamune, uh, Genghis Khan's sword. That would have been cool. And how it had given its latest wielder, Odu Nobunaga, an unfair advantage in his quest... Yeah, his quest of Japan. Which, again, Assassin's Creed was really good about using actual historical figures and weave them into the overarching story. Because, yeah, you had the Borgias during the Ezio stuff. Then you had several figures from the uh, Crusades in Constantinople for... The original outing, okay, after Nobunaga is assassinated by Hattori Hanzo. Oh man, this woman great. Taka become, er, uh, becomes a part of the Brotherhood and under Hanzo is trained as an assassin, a shinobi. Oh my god. Uh, the Brotherhood tried to transport and recover the sword out of Japan, but are beset by the Jesuit, okay, ships, and it is lost. To make matters worse, Hanzo is assassinated as he considers retirement as a monk. His lord, Tokugawa Leisei, or Iyasu, okay, uh, charges Taka with finding the killer and recovering the sword. Yeah, that sounds like a great story. By Nobunaga's successor, uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, uh, acquiring the sword and going on a rampage that extends into Korea. He steals the sword back and Mad Dayamo loses his power, weakening his campaign in Korea. Incessed by the theft, uh, Toto uh, Yodomi, okay, Japanese names, right? Uh, believes he was betrayed by the Templars and basically exterminates all Jesuits in Japan. Taka infiltrates Toto Yo er Toyotomi, it shouldn't be that hard to say, the castle and faces him in the final battle, resulting in Toyo Toyotomi's, there we go, uh, death. The ambitious Dayamo is left to die as Taka slips away before his retainers could intercept him. Which, okay, cool, if you wanted to go ahead and have your diverse casting right there, you know, one of the retainers uh, could have been your boy this time around, but no, 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 don't worry about it. Ayasu has, yeah, uh, begins his ambitious power grab. Commanding Taka and the Brotherhood give him the sword to help him wipe away Abstergo in Latin. All the enemies from Japan to fully unite his, under his clan banners. Uh, Taka and the Brotherhood decline and vanish into the shadow of the sword. Oh, well, Black Samurai and Kenochi, it is. What a shame. Yeah, exactly, and it looks like there's some of the proposed art, and yeah, that looks, looks better. It looks a hell of a lot better. And yeah, there's some, you know, historical record that you could have used, but decided not to. Why not? But because we know what we know about the history of Yasuke, the proposed idea behind the original Trek, Feudal Japan, well, Ubisoft has to has to kind of go in there and you know, try to make things work out a little bit better so Yasuke isn't based on a coward and inexperienced. Samurai try to make him look like a badass. Wikipedia editors have already altered Yasuke's entry. Uh, they did uh, They did it just moments after I tweeted covering up Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Shadows. They did this with Warhammer and now they're going to do it to real history. But here's the thing, man. You're messing around with Japanese history. Something that's actually reasonably especially when we talk about you know the 1500s a lot of that history especially in europe had been lost to time but over in japan a lot of it's well documented okay and much of the referenced work of japan's history is from that time like you have modern or i'm sorry miyamoto musashi uh, perhaps the most famous samurai of all time you know operating during those years his work still being referenced to this day and well the japanese uh, the japanese aren't necessarily taking to this all too well and but frankly i can show you a multitude of different responses all bearing these exact same sentiments on the youtube side of things and on the twitter side of things but well a game where black people massacred japanese uh, people in sin oh, in the sengoku period is the perfect example of ubi not too sure what UBI, Universal Basic Income, probably DEI, is uh, this what happens when political correctness is taken to the extreme? 
yeah, they're starting to see this stuff play out right now because as we normally talk about, this is uh, these ideas are normally just cancer in Western gaming, but now you have Western gaming's take, the worst Western gaming studio when it comes to forcing in these ideas, their take on Eastern history. And now he's normally, for the better, insulated gamers are seeing what the West has had to deal with for a long time. And well, they have the, predi they have the predictable response. Uh, the sword is in the wrong position. It's a no good to have uh, to have it open at your side. I wanted Yasuke to appear as an ally. Are they mocking Japan? They should have made someone like a Saizo uh, Kiragukure an assassin. Okay, it's a bit disappointing. I wanted to play a ja or I wanted to play as a Japanese ninja. It's my favorite game since I started with Syndicate and have played everything. So this is sad. I don't think that there are any Japanese people uh, supervising the architecture. So probably the build of the game. It's Chinese and filled with lanterns. Tory gates paper lanterns Ooh, so it doesn't feel like this i think the shogun stands out at, or after the good examples in this drama oh yeah shogun stands out definitely for sure like that was a show that just concluded and it has incredibly positive reception this time around this game right here it's getting cooked brother but hey if you have a spare just about two hundred dollars which that's what they're trying to push out there well after the failure that was you know skull and bones trying to go ahead and make another quadruple a game you can play it three days early if you want to shell out over 200 bones which is ridiculous november 15th i can't wait to see the sales data on that and realize that oh god just because you might have some freaks on twitter go oh my god the black samurai doesn't mean that it's going to translate well to the overall public but best of luck to you Ubisoft because <laughs> you're gonna need it. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.